Hey, Tracy from Mentoring You here. Um, in our networking group that we had earlier today, I explained that I would show you guys how easy it was to do video with Adobe v Presenter Video Express. Um, I am going to jump right in and show you exactly how you would record a video. Funny enough, Adobe Presenter Video Express won't let you record a video of its own software. So we're actually using a separate software called Screencast-O-Matic to record this demo. Alright, so I've opened up Adobe Video Presenter Express. Once you sign up on the cloud, and it's $9.99 as a part of Adobe Suite, um, $9.99 a month. Once you sign up and download it, uh, you'll just have a little icon in your dock. I'm working off of a Mac, um, so you would just click on that and it's going to open up the program that you see in front of you. From here, I'm going to click the Create New Project. And you'll see that it's going to bring up full screen uh, what I've got on my desktop. And then it's going to load the software over it and you'll see me. So one of the really cool things about Adobe, Adobe Video Presenter Express, we're just going to call it Video Express. Um, one of the really cool things about Video Express is that it records simultaneously what your webcam is seeing and what's going on on your screen. And then it allows you to merge the two incredibly easily on the back end when you're doing some video editing. It also has a few bells and whistles that are kind of fun to play with, like make my background awesome. Um, so we'll click on that. And um, you can also take a quick snapshot. So basically it took a quick snapshot of me then it wants me to draw a line from my face. So I'm going to start here all the way down my body. And what that's doing is it's identifying where I am in the screen. And then it's going to go shoulder to shoulder. And you can see it almost got all of me. I'll grab my arm right here. Basically what the software is trying to do is create its own green screen right now. Yeah, that's good enough. So you say I'm fully selected. And then at this point, it's going to do its best. I wasn't in the middle. There's a whole tutorial that you can do that kind of shows you what to do. Um, but you can see here what it's done is it's now trying to put different scenes behind me. So it's giving you a preview. You can see it's a little messy. I'll be honest, I don't play with this very much, but I wanted to show you what your options were. Say we really loved this preview and it caught everything. If you're going to use this, you really want to use it up against a solid colored background. And then you can click anywhere to start changing the background and you can flip through all different kinds of stuff. I think there's one that looks like you're doing a newscast or in a library, but you can see it didn't grab me exactly the way it was supposed to be. So some of the green screen's a little funky. I'm going to go ahead and exit back, go back to my normal. Um, we're going to skip out of this. All right, so now we're back live. <laughs> but that, that's an, one of the things that you can do that's pretty cool with this. Um, if you're just going to use it to record screencasts, which is what the we're really trying to do here today, then all we would need to do is click record. And at this point, it's going to give you a little prompt and a countdown. And as soon as it goes live, whatever's on your screen is what it's recording. So you can see up here, I've got the little icon and the little red light that tells me that I'm live. I'm going to switch over to my website and I'll just do a quick demo on my website for you. So this is my website. If I were doing a screencast and trying to teach you some things, I may want to show you my skills lab. As long as we're here, we can do that. So this is mentoringyou.org. And here we've got a catalog of online courses, access to my skills lab, the calendar for all of my virtual coffees, which is where I get online and do some live Q and A and my webinars where I teach new skills. I've got a little interactive image here, so you can click on different pieces like the coffee cup and the sunglasses to get different places. And then you can always sign up for my newsletter to be kept informed about different things that are going on, like trainings like this. So if I click over to another page, it's going to load that page. I'm going to go ahead and shrink my screen just a little bit so you can see it all. Um, I'm already logged in, so I can go up here to the skills lab and I can switch over. There's lots of tutorials and trainings, everything from how to use Canva, task management strategies I suggest, like the Pomodoro technique, 
a little bit of goal planning, and then even free email marketing. I know I mentioned that a couple of times during the session this morning, where there's actually not quite as user-friendly of an interface as MailChimp, but free drip marketing campaigns, um, great for the entrepreneur who's kind of starting a business on a budget. And these are, it's kind of a growing library, so I rotate these courses out on a, on a regular basis, but you can log in and take some quick, anything from two to five minute, sometimes 10, 15 minute trainings, and figure out some new skills to help your business. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna switch back over to Adobe Presenter, and once I'm done with my training, if I've done the screencast and captured everything that I needed to do for my training, I would just click on the icon and it's gonna shut down the recording, it's going to end it and pop up my editing window here. So once it's done preparing my project, a couple of things I want to point out. You can see the color coding icons down here at the bottom. The yellow is my presenter only. So this is my webcam feed. So if I were to start this, that's what you're going to see. You're going to see my webcam feed. And you'll notice that my cursor has moved just a little bit um, down the recording. At this point, if I switch to the presentation, it's going to switch my screen and you'll notice that the rest of this switch to green. Now what that means, it's editing as I play with this right now. So if I were to publish this video right now, the very first part of it would be me. And then at this point, it would transition to my screen and continue on my screen for the remainder of the training. So let's let that play for a second. So you can see up here I've got a little icon and a little red light that tells me. And then say at this point, nothing special is happening on the screen. I could actually switch back to me and continue on. And then maybe I want to do a mashup where I want both. And so at this point, if I were to keep moving forward, let me mute. I'm just going to pause that for a second because I don't want to be talking over my own audio. But at this point, it creates a mashup. So I can actually see my picture. I've got my screen and it allows my whoever's watching this to see that it's me talking. Um, and every time I click the button, it's changing everything that comes after it to whatever I've got on the screen right now. So for instance, um, we also have a couple of editing capabilities. We can add some branding like a logo or, you know, something, a little title down at the bottom. We can pan and zoom. So if I want to maybe zoom in on, say I was talking about the skills lab and I really wanted to zoom in on the skills lab. Pick this one. And I can edit this to where it's gonna zoom in just for a minute. Um, and then play for a few minutes. So this is my website. If I were doing screencast. And then I can stop it again. And maybe at this point I wanna go back full screen. So again, very simple editing tools. So I've pan and zoomed. Now I've unzoomed. And so we'll let that keep going. You have the ability to trim. So if I misspoke, if I had to sneeze, if the doorbell rang and I wanted to pause and cut that piece out, then I would just click the trim button. And as soon as I click the plus, it starts trimming. I may want to show you my skills lab. And when I pause, I can click the plus or the check mark and now it cut that part out. Um, we also have the ability to enhance the video. You can make it a little bit better. You can add annotations if you want to type certain things for people to remember. Um, we'd have to switch back to the presentation screen. And then maybe we want to circle Skills Lab. Um, and maybe we want to add text. And then you can resize and do whatever you need to do. Um, and then that's going to stay on until you pull it off. So this is mentoringyou.org. And here. Um, and I think it's default set for like three to five seconds, but you can grab these little arrows on either side and extend how long it stays on there uh, to where you can kind of fine tune exactly what you need. 
and you can also add a quiz. So if you've built maybe a course or if you're showing an application and at the end you just want a quick, hey, did you get this? Any questions? You can add a quiz in and it's going to pop up and allow you to start adding questions, which can then, you know, make your, your quick training a little more interactive. And I won't go through having to build a whole one of those for you. But the bottom line is very, very easy. Um, you can click on any of these pieces and I believe we can add transitions. Perhaps not. Maybe that was in a slightly different Hmm. Maybe that was in a different version. My apologies. All right. So once we're done with what we've done, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this, say that, you know, we come back to the beginning, we give it a quick watch. So that gives you a quick look at what we were able to accomplish in just over 10 minutes. <laughs> um, hopefully you have found this to be useful. I think this is an incredibly valuable tool for anybody that's making video. It is affordable. It is very easy to use. There's a very, very, very short learning curve. Um, and then all you have to do at that point is you, oh, you can even add external videos if you want to do. Um, but all you have to do at this point, once you're completely done and happy with your video, you click the publish button, name your project. And it's gonna take a few minutes to prepare your project and publish it. The longer your video, the longer it's gonna take to do this. And then once you're finished, it's gonna give you the option to download the entire package, which is gonna give you an MP4 file that you can use anywhere upload it to a service like Dropbox or a cloud-based service, or upload to YouTube or Vimeo. And um, when you upload to YouTube, you can connect it with your account. It's gonna prompt you to fill in things like your description, whether it's public or private, and then it's gonna upload straight to your account where you can then use it to embed in email newsletter marketing, put on your website, share to Facebook, or just use to populate your YouTube channel where hopefully you're driving traffic and gathering subscribers. So regardless of what you're using video for, this is a fabulous way to do it. Give that just one more second to finish and I will show you how easy it is to upload to YouTube. And we're gonna wrap up an entire producing and uploading of a video in less than 15 minutes. So at this point, it's going to pop up with my successfully published. Um, it's automatically trying to log me into Vimeo because it thought I clicked on that, but we're gonna, we're gonna back out and just publish to YouTube. I've already entered my credentials, so it's got me listed. I can title the video. I sound a bit salesy there, but I'm doing this off the cuff. Um, you always want to enter your description and you want your description to answer the question that someone might be asking YouTube or Google. So if I'm searching for how do I make videos easily with, you know, how do I make simple videos? How do I make no editing videos? Then hopefully what I've entered into my description is going to answer that question. You also want to enter tags. So think about tags as ways to categorize your information. So this would be valuable to entrepreneurs, small business, videos, um, and maybe marketing. 
and then you can categorize it. So this is a how to video and I'm going to go ahead and upload it uh, publicly. But if you're going to be making individual messages for, you know, one person, or if you're going to be selling and maybe you just want to upload it so that you can embed it somewhere, you can always upload it as private and click upload. And then at that point, it's going to take just a little while to upload and then it will be available. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because that is not our official final video. Um, but that is how it's done. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me on mentoringyou.org or connect with me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash mentoring mompreneurs. I look forward to visiting with you. Have a great day.